It's summer! Almost, I guess. Hey yo, what is up Thrill Seekers? Today I am going to be making a video about my summer plans, all of the parks that I'm going to be going to, just because why not? I haven't been uploading much recently and I want to reassure you guys that there's much content to come. Of course, before I get into it, not all of these plans are 100% final. There's definitely days that can switch depending on weather or just if other plans change. So definitely follow my Instagram at themeparkupdateyt uh, to stay updated on any updates I may have with the schedule. Anyways, starting off with a trip that I am going on in a little bit over a week, which I'm very excited about. I am going to be flying up to Missouri in order to do Hollywood Nights and Keys to the Kingdom. First, on the Thursday right before Hollywood Nights, I will be trying to go to Six Flags St. Louis. That is on June 3rd. On June 4th and 5th, I will be at Hollywood Nights. And on June 6th, I will be at Keys to the Kingdom. From there, I am going to really skirt all the way across the state and go to Kansas City, which is where Worlds of Fun is. And that will be on Monday the 7th, I believe. On Tuesday the 8th, the second half of the day, the first half of the day, we're kind of just chilling, but the second half of the day, um, I will be trying to go to Silver Dollar City and taking advantage of that policy where if you buy a ticket for one day and you go past like 4 p.m., then the ticket is value, uh, valuable for the next day. So because of that, the second half of Tuesday, June 8th, and then all day Wednesday, June 9th, I think I have my dates right, um, will be spent at Silver Dollar City. That Thursday and Friday, we're really going to be skirting all the way back down, trying to maybe hit up Magic Springs and maybe um, Six Flags over Texas if we have time. If so, it would only be for like a couple hours. Um, definitely follow my Instagram for that because that's going to be definitely be like dependent on the time. Anyways, from there, we're going to try to get into San Antonio in order to do a roller coaster rodeo at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. There is a very slight chance if I get in fast enough that I will be able to do um, to work roller coaster rodeo like the ERT on Friday night, maybe. Um, and there's also a chance that I might just not go as a guest at all and just work that day um, just because why not I kind of kind of want to do that now but <laughs> honestly that's definitely dependent on how we're feeling if we're like super burnt out and we just want to take that time to relax after like a week of full parks then we'll do that maybe we'll only go Saturday maybe we'll go Saturday and Sunday it really depends so we'll see about that. But hopefully ro Roller Coaster Rodeo theoretically should be able to happen. Had to get my computer so that I can look at the notes for this second trip because I honestly forgot when it was. So I believe on July 30th, my dad and I are flying out to Williamsburg to do my annual trip to go see my grandparents up in Williamsburg. Therefore, during that whole week between July 30th and August 9th, I will be there going to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, King's Dominion, um, and maybe Six Flags America, probably just Busch Gardens Williamsburg a whole bunch because it'll be like five minutes from the hotel. So definitely catch me there a lot during that week. Anyways, on August 10th, we are going to drive up and stop by Six Flags America on our way up to Pennsylvania so that on August 11th, we can go to Sesame Place and Six Flags Great Adventure, trying to get all the credits from Six Flags Great Adventure, theoretically. Um, on August 12th, we are doing Hershey Park. On August 13th, it's going to be Dorney Park, and maybe if we have time, skirt up to Knobles on that same day, depending on when we get done with Dorney. Um, August 14th is going to be 
a chill day. It's definitely going to be like if we maybe got rained out of a park one day, then we'll kind of use that. Uh, we'll use August 14th to kind of re as kind of like a safety day, I guess. Um, but the plan is to go back to Six Flags Great Adventure on that day and maybe get any credits that we might have missed or just hang out and ride all the rides again. August 15th will be Nickelodeon Universe and August 16th will be a chill day as we fly out. Um, if we did get rained out one day and we had to use August 14th as um, like a makeup day, then we might, I might end up going to Six Flags Great Adventure on August 16th. But honestly, it really depends and that's why you should follow my Instagram to stay updated at Theme Park Update YT. Anyways, throughout the summer, I will be still working at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Um, so definitely catch me there. I'll also be going as a guest a whole bunch. If you don't know, I work Iron Rattler, Road Runner, Daredevil Dive, um, Gully Washer, and Wacky Wagons. And yeah, it's gonna be good. Anyways, in terms of this video, those are my summer plans. So thank you guys for watching and getting updated with what I'm going to be doing this summer. It's going to be a very busy summer, definitely making up for last year with COVID. I was supposed to do Hollywood Nights and Keys to the Kingdom and even a Cedar Point trip and stuff like that last year, but it all fell through. So definitely making up for it this year. Anyways, whole bunch of content coming real soon, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button and yeah, look out for a whole bunch of content, like all the content. Anyways, I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.